Hello everyone, welcome to Mal's Vlogs. So as you saw in the title, it was my 40th birthday. So this is a very, very special vlog. But as uh, it was special, I took a little bit of time to actually edit the video. I don't know, I'm so lazy to edit the videos. But yeah, this happened in September and you will be seeing it around start of November, I guess, or the end of October. So as described uh, in the title, we went to Winnipeg for uh, my birthday. Uh, 40th being a very special number, not for me but for others. Uh, we decided we will do a short trip which is not too far. Uh, so this drive was around 6 to 6 and a half hours. We stopped in between and took breaks and also it, it came to around 7 hours from Regina. So if you are in Saskatchewan and if you want to actually go to a city close by, then this is a good option or, or else you can go to Calgary or Edmonton. But we opted to come to Winnipeg because we've already seen Calgary and Edmonton. So I expected Winnipeg to be a very small city and I just planned it for two days. But then after going there, I realized it's a much bigger city and the two days is not enough to see every bit and part of Winnipeg. So we landed there on the 23rd of September and my birthday was on the 25th. So 23rd, we had to visit a couple of my friends. Uh, actually, our family friend, they shifted in from Dubai. We know them from India. And um, I also had to meet one of my subscriber who is my very close friend now. And uh, you would have already seen her video uh, in like about Winnipeg before you know, I had an interview with her. So I met my family friend on the 23rd, we didn't do anything much, had dinner at their place for a, after a very long time. We were like catching up with some uh, people from India. So we had a lot of things to talk about. Uh, we sat up till around 3 o'clock, chatted, blah, blah, blah. And then on 24th, we got up a little late, dressed up, went to meet my subscriber, uh, had a good time with her. She had cooked lunch for, uh, lunch for us. We had all that, um, chatted with her, took her interview and then we left for our uh, sightseeing like you know we wanted to, uh, actually I wanted to buy balloons for my birthday so I went to Canadian Tire, picked that up, picked the cake, everything I did by myself, I didn't want to actually you know uh, have a party or anything of that sort so it was just me and Prashant and this is a beautiful Airbnb that we stayed, I, I mean I can't get over that apartment, it was a loft, a uh, New York loft type of an apartment. Uh, ideally, I would like my house to be like this. In fact, our current house is also like this. It's just not that it's, it's not an open model, but it's as small as this. Um, I prefer cozier and smaller spaces rather than large spaces because I feel that, you know, it's, it's very personal and small and it's cute. Prashant is saying he's going to give me some surprise. Let's see. What the? <laughs> Are you serious? Hi there. Hello. Hi. 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 So Prashant kept telling me uh, not to change my dress after we came back, you know, we just step out for dinner and all. Then he told me, we've called off the dinner plans, we, uh, we will actually order food. So he kept changing, so I knew that something was cooking up, but I didn't expect this. He actually planned a limo ride for me. It can't get special than this, you know. At this point, I should actually uh, show my gratitude. I don't think it's required, but I really... I feel that I really need to show my gratitude to this amazing guy in my life. I wouldn't even want to label him like by calling him my husband. He is my partner, he is my soulmate, he is my best friend. He knows every damn shit about me. So uh, I think I'm lucky to get him because it just worked out for me and uh, people consider me lucky and him unlucky, yeah, which is true. Uh, even I think uh, it's that that's the case. Uh, so he arranged everything. You can see him taking in the bag and you know pulling out stuff because it was a very well planned uh, surprise for me. So 
Manitoba and we have come to uh, the zoo. So the Manitoba Zoo is quite popular because there are some species which you might not see in other zoos. Uh, so today being my birthday, one of my uh, thing was that I want to see some animals and I want to come to the zoo. So we have come here. So there's some uh, we are we are uh, at the uh, area where there are bisons. So hopefully we get to see some good. Uh, sightings i don't know i hopefully i get to see uh, the polar bear which is there in the zoo uh, so let's go inside and see yeah as i mentioned the next day uh again you know i wanted to do things that i really want to do and i just didn't want like do things for the sake of doing it i actually lo love animals and i really wanted to see animals i know i know that it's not the right place to go and see animals because a lot of people are against uh, animals being caged and in zoos uh, so we saw some really uh, different species of animals in this particular zoo and um, this is a cougar i've seen different versions of uh, big cats but i've never seen a cougar mm, the park itself was really beautiful and the highlight the main reason why i really wanted to go there is because there's a species there which is this look at it my god my sister used to have a teddy bear a white color one which looks exactly like this just that the teddy bear was like four or five times or maybe 10 times smaller than this particular bear it was huge like i don't know whether you can make that out from the video i really wanted to go and <laughs> go and cuddle it but then yeah there would be a bloodshed there Uh, a lot of people from different part of the world were coming to see this because obviously you don't see polar bears in all the zoos so there were a lot of photographers uh, there you know clicking photos of the polar bear they were like there for like hours together to just get clicks or you know sighting of the polar bear and it's all not always necessary that you get to see them they might be inside the enclosure somewhere you know inside their den or something but we got a chance to see around four to five of them just really good it was a birthday good birthday gift for me then there were seals there were different type of animals um if you enjoy animals then you should definitely visit the asiniboine um zoo in winnipeg and after this we were thinking what to do we were really hungry that day we were getting back so this is on the 25th and uh, we wanted to make sure that you know uh, we at least see the major uh, things in uh, winnipeg uh, there was a particular museum that we wanted to see but we just didn't get time for that so then we headed to the fox market so there are some historical significance also to this fox market you can read it up in google i am not going to explain too much because even i am not too sure about it and i don't want like give you wrong information so this place had like really yummy food um, we had ordered fish and chips and we ordered a mezza platter then prashant tried out some beer It was really good a good change from the Saskatchewan environment and we really enjoyed it you can see they also had like an outdoor space that you know they could sit and uh, just chill 
we actually uh, prashant even came up with the idea that we will we'll extend our stay and then stay in a hotel and just chill here for the night you know but then i was like no i need to get back to our office and so yeah we wound up we got back but winnie peck is really beautiful you should definitely visit the place in case you want to see a new place and i would highly 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 recommend considering winnie peck as an option when you plan to come to uh, canada saskatchewan is not the only option there are other options i am here for the pnp if you are coming here for the pnp well and good but manitoba also has a pnp that's all for now bye bye